It looks good, kind of. But then you start digging deeper into what's going on here. Like furry animal event going on over there. Even the lady at the service desk was just like, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's been a rough couple of days. Um, right now I am at the shop here in Indianapolis. My uh, AC pretty much went out, which sucks. Don't know what's wrong with it. It's not getting cold. The blower is blowing, but I don't know if it could be the compressor, maybe Freon leaked out, but it was progressing and getting worse. And yeah, this is a new truck too. So it just shows you what kind of quality there is out there today, I guess. But yeah, it's kind of sad because I, I'm just in shock that it's a new truck and I'm already having issues like this, but I'm pretty sure people in the comments will be like, well, it's a freight liner, blah, blah, blah. And eh, I guess I kind of agree with you. But then again, it is manufactured. I think they build it in Mexico. So I guess the downfall is outsourcing stuff like that, but it is what it is. And I guess lack of quality and control. But yeah, right now I am trying to get stuff together maybe clean up a little bit here. It's gonna go in the shop tomorrow. It is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. And just across the street, there's a hotel and they got like people dressed up in costumes. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a picture and I will put it up right here. But yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, so I got, they gave me a hotel at the La Quinto right over here, which it looks pretty decently, like it was remodeled recently, so. It shouldn't be too bad. It should be pretty chill. I'll show you guys, but yeah. Thank God they got me a hotel though. They're pretty cool about it. And thank God it's across the street. Makes it a lot easier. I'll probably uh, settle in and um, maybe they have like a little gym or something, or I might go jogging, then grab some dinner. They have a couple restaurants here. I'm probably not gonna go to that one over there because they have those, uh, they have some sort of like furry animal event going on over there. Even the lady at the service desk was just like, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, so they have a couple more hotels here with restaurants. I'm just gonna look online and grab myself a meal. But yeah, hopefully I can get this fixed because um, I got a flight on Friday and today is Saturday. So I still got a cushion there. Um, worst case scenario, they'll give me a replacement probably an older truck just to get me by and to get me home uh the slow that i do have right now is heading to virginia not too far from my home might have to let it go but that really depends on tomorrow which i'll keep you guys updated on the truck so stay tuned all right guys i am in the hotel and it is not that great it looks good kind of but then you start digging deeper into what's going on here and i like how they hide this which is kind of gross so i'm probably gonna sleep on that side but yeah so they have this and then you kind of open this up and you see like stains <sighs> and then there's like stains in the carpet i'm wearing socks most likely i'm gonna wear my flip-flops around because i don't want to go bare barefoot on this carpet and then i have a nice view of a semi truck and this but yeah it seems like they try to remodel this place as best as they could but eh. i could get my own hotel the only thing is is that they have an event across the street and a lot of these hotels are pretty much most likely booked and i'm just i'm here whatever as long as it's better than sleeping in a hot ass truck it'll probably be 110 in there and then probably a good 80 to 90 degrees tonight since it's not gonna be that cold tonight. So I'm not complaining, trust me. But yeah, so um, hopefully we'll see how the truck is tomorrow and I keep you guys updated on that too. I pretty much made it home, thankfully. Uh, woke up early this morning and um, headed over here to my house. I got the tractor right there ready to go. Gonna grab some of my bags. This grass does need to be bush hogged, but yeah. So right now, like I said, grabbing all my stuff, uh, cleaning up, 
thank God the truck did get done on within a day pretty much. I was kind of worried because the mechanic did come up to me in the driver lounge and he was uh, saying that the sensor, I guess it's like a sensor in the Freon. Uh, and he's like, yeah, he doesn't know if he has any in stock and he recently remembered trying to get one, ordered one and it took about five days and he told me that. I'm like, ah oh, man, I can't sit here for five days. No way, like, gotta figure something out. It was a Sunday, so everything was uh, pretty much closed. So whatever they had in house is what they had in house. Thank God the guy did his job. Seems like a lot of people don't do their jobs today. And um, he looked in the inventory and was able to find uh, the sensor that he needed to get replaced. So he pretty much got me done on that Sunday around noon, because we were talking in the morning time. Then went to go pick up my load in Nensley and uh, headed here to Virginia. Dropped it off yesterday. Didn't have too much time left to come home all the way, so that's where I am today. I am here. But thankfully, he ended up having the part that he needed because, yeah, that would have been a disaster trying to switch. Which I, my other option was to swap trucks on Monday when the terminal was open because they're the only ones that can authorize that swap. And they had a whole bunch of trucks there in Indianapolis, so I really wasn't worried. Just swapping trucks can be a pain in the butt. Just taking everything out of the truck and putting it to the other truck, like that's like a, depending how much stuff you have. And like, I don't really, I tend to pack light, so it probably takes an even two, about two hours, especially in the heat. You're sweating your goddamn chops off. Yeah. No fun, but thank God that never came down to be, it never ended up happening. So, um, but yeah, so just uh, gonna clean all this stuff out and get my clothes, clean up, get ready for today's Tuesday, Friday. I have my plane ride heading to Florida, go see friends and family, and uh, should be a good weekend. Other than that, I'm pretty much going to end the video here, guys. Just want to let you know on the update on the whole situation, which I thought it would be a lot worse. But thank God it wasn't. So, other than that, guys, uh, hopefully you guys have a good uh, rest of your day and be safe out there in the road. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to have any comments, leave them down below. But, yeah. Thanks. See ya.